Welcome back. So we are here today with Alan from Subi Recycler and he has brought down his 09 Legacy Spec B that we have tried out this turbo in front of me on. Uh, this is the Turbo Dynamics MDX 555-400 turbo. Um, and Alan, so let's go back to when we were first having conversations about what you were looking to do with the car. What kind of what were your goals? Really my goal was just to, uh, to have a nice streetable car. Um, you know, I don't do a lot of track stuff. I'm not looking for huge horsepower numbers. Really just wanted something that was really nice and torquey to drive on the street, um, had really good spool up numbers, and then took advantage of as much as the stock uh, block would handle. It's just a stock build, so we were so just going Stock for, engine, stock head studs. Yeah, stock, okay. yeah, stock bottom end, stock head studs. Um, just everything was rebuilt, but uh, all in stock form. So we just wanted to take advantage and kind of see what we could get out of that stock setup. Sure. So basically looking for a turbo that the car maybe should have come with from the factory but didn't so you can just really optimize um, you know, the potential of, of just the stock engine. Right, right. Yeah, spool up numbers and torque um, was definitely the most important thing for us. Okay. Something that's nice and easy to drive on the street. And so in having that conversation, that's how we landed on this turbo because it is, I would say it's something in kind of in the realms of like a 20G family turbo, but it is it does have a Garrett center section, it's ball ring center section, so it should spool up a little bit earlier. And what we've really liked with the Turbo Dynamics turbos is their design of the hot side because they are, you know, they're designing turbos primarily to work on two liter engines. Um, so they're using a smaller hot side. And what we've seen on the 2.5 liters is that leads them to spool up pretty early. So that's how we kind of decided we want to give this a try. And so right. we put it on the car. Um, let's just kind of go over the build. So it's a stock block. Um, stock head studs. Right. Yep. Stock block, stock heads, um, everything refreshed, rebuilt. Yep. Um, we went with the Cobb 1050 injectors yep. just so we had enough fuel. Upgraded um, fuel pump. Upgraded fuel pump, yeah. And then, um, intercooler. then it has a front mount intercooler on it. Um, just the legacy and the, the scoop on the legacy. Yep. It's a limiting factor. For us, yeah, it was a limiting factor. So. Yeah, so the advantage of going with the front mount here is you get better cooling, mm -hmm. and then that's what makes it possible to use, call it an STI style turbo on a legacy. Yeah. Um, so that's what, what opens up the door to this kind of family of turbos. Right. So, so we put it on the car, got some braking miles, and then we took it to Harvey to get it tuned. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're seeing a lot of torque on gasoline and nice early spool up. I think uh, I, I poo poo all the turbos that don't say Garrett on them, uh, like right on them. And this is a great turbo, so I'm, I'm proud of you, John. You picked a good one. So, good man. And here's the lucky man, Alan. <laughs> So what, what did you do on that last pull? Oh, I raised boost. I went from about 19 pounds to 20, uh, 18.7 to 20, and we picked up quite a bit of torque there. Um, not bad at all. 340 torque, up from about 325 uh, for one pound of boost. So I think if, if I had head studs, I could check what it would do with more boost, but I don't want to go, you know, 22 if you were the average customer looking for some uh, numbers and, and, and being a little dangerous, but this is a, a great place to stop where we leave a huge buffer of safety and I think that's the most important thing to do. So, um, the tune went really well. Um, let's kind of go over it. So you got basically a, a medium boost map and a high boost map. Right. What, what kind of numbers were you seeing on, on both? So on the medium boost map, uh, it's running about 18 pounds uh, and I'm making right at 317 on the torque and 326 on the horsepower. So really happy with that. It's nice and streetable. It spools up by 3,800 to 4,000. Yeah. Um, it's really, that's where I drive 95% of the time on the street. Sure. Um, and then the high boost map, we push it up to about 20 pounds of boost, uh, which pushes the torque up to 342. Yeah. And we're right about the same horsepower numbers, uh, 330 on the 330, horsepower. Yeah. So uh, moves the torque a little bit later, but obviously gives you quite a bit more yeah. um, there. And so when I need to have a little fun, I sure. try to turn it on. Turn that knob. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and honestly, it was, it was a better result than we were even guessing. I mean, we were, right. we were kind of targeting even just to land maybe a 300 horsepower. And 300 just, to 320, yeah, yeah just was our it, original goal. Yeah. So we, we passed that, and it, with considering that the car has a front mounted intercooler, it really is spooling up pretty darn early for that. Right, yeah. Harvey was saying probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 200 to 300 RPM sooner um, if it was on the top mount. So yeah. now, obviously, the cooling on the front mount's a little bit better. Yeah. So. You know, it's, it's a trade-off. Right, right. But, right. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and the, the interesting thing when, when the car was on the dyno is it was definitely making a lot more torque as we were adding uh, boost pressure. And we had to kind of stop because we were on 9 to 1 octane, so just, you know, pump gas mm -hmm. and, and full stock internal. So what, what 
it was most impressive about this turbo is it really seemed like if uh, he'd gone back and done a build with you know Ford bottom end uh, upgraded headsets and maybe something like E85 instead of pump gas, there's even more potential in this turbo just be because of how much uh, how much happier the car was to take more boost pressure and more timing. Yeah, it was it was ready to take more. Um, Harvey didn't want to go over the 20 pounds of boost, with which the is stock, probably wise. Yeah, so with the stock yeah. head studs. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you upgrade to ARPs and uh, you know a forged piston on the bottom end, definitely yeah. it's it's ready for more. Well, what what uh, my takeaway of this turbo is that you know it's something where it, it is a small turbo, quick spooling. Where if you want something that just maximizes you know, the potential of the stock engine, you've got it, but if you've got a mild build, you're not looking for, you know, over say 350 horsepower, but you really want something that comes on quick and you can run a lot of boost pressure with the 85 and make a lot of torque. This seems to be, you know, just about as ideal of a turbo as, as we can find for that. That's great. Yeah. So, I'm really what, happy with it. What's your impression, you know, driving the car now? Driving the car is, uh, like I said, it's uh, just how it should come from the factory. I, you know, it pulls nice and hard all the way to redline, doesn't run out of steam like the stock you know, via 46 or via 52 for that matter. Um, and and how, does, how does the power band feel? Does, does it feel like you know, once you once you get above 3,000 RPMs, you're pretty quick to get into the power? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, if uh, you step on it at 3,000 and it takes off like, yeah. you know, like a rocket. So. Better have both hands on the wheel? It's a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah very cool. Well, that's awesome. Well, well, Alan, thanks very much for, for bringing the car, for working with us so we can actually get some hard numbers on this turbo. Thank you. Um, why don't you tell everybody, you know, wh where you're from and what you do and where they yeah. can find you. SubiRecycler.com. Um, everything that you need used Subaru-wise, we part out Subarus. We specialize in uh, the turbo models, so we've got a lot of used parts, aftermarket parts, that sort of thing. Check us out. Yeah, if the name sounds familiar, you guys might remember him from when we were having our, our issues with the rally car at Rally Colorado last year when we had an engine failure. And, we, we reached out to Alan and he was uh, kind of our savior and had a, a, the pieces that we needed to kind of get the car running again. So, yeah. yeah. We try to help. Awesome. Well, thanks very much, Alan. Thanks for bringing the car down. Thanks for doing some testing with us. And uh, yeah, Sounds thanks good. very much. Thanks, thanks for John. watching, guys, and uh, stay tuned for more. All right.